Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Hard Count podcast. And today, we're going to be talking about a very polarizing player in today's NFL, and that is Dak Prescott. Many l- love him, many love to hate him. But here at the Hard Count, we take out all emotions and make decisions based on facts and what I see on film. So, the two questions that we're going to be answering today are Is Dak Prescott an elite quarterback? And then also, can he lead the Dallas Cowboys to a Super Bowl? Real quick, before I start the video, I'd just like to remind you guys to hit that like, subscribe, it means a lot, it takes two seconds out of your day, and anyways, I would never want you to miss any of this regular content here on The Hard Count. So now with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. For the first part of the video, to help us evaluate Dak Prescott, um, we're gonna be using my quarterback criteria up on the screen here, which is four categories, arm strength, mobility, arm talent, and definitely most importantly, accuracy. And I think Dak is proficient in each category And if I think Dak Prescott is proficient in each category, I'll give him a check. And if not, I'll explain why not and why. But first, let's start with accuracy. And I think this is definitely the most important element of a quarterback's game for sure. Luckily for Dak, though, this is one of the better elements of his game. I like his accuracy on all areas of the field, especially on comeback routes like this one up on the screen here. We see receiver come back in Dak pretty far down the field and Dak put it in the perfect spot with high velocity which we'll talk about in a second when it comes to arm strength but that's a huge bonus for me because not many quarterbacks in the league can make that throw that we just saw so um, again we really see consistency in all areas of the field in terms of accuracy we don't have any issues on short route short routes so that's good there we know some people do have issues on just making the easy throws but I don't see that in Dak Prescott at all and I think they're Sometimes can be a little shakiness throwing into tight windows, but it's decent consistency in that department, and I don't think it's anything to take away from. Um, I think the only part of his game that is not the strongest in terms of accuracy is his ability to throw under pressure accurately. And I think that fits into two categories, though. Arm talent, accuracy. Uh, I don't think there's too much else to say to be said about Dak's accuracy. Just to reiterate, though, he's very consistent across the field. I like the ability to throw outside the numbers with great precision, timing. Um, so no issues on easy throws again. Pretty good at tight window throwing. Not great though. Um, but there are some struggles when it comes to throwing under pressure. But overall, Dak is definitely one of the better quarterbacks in the league in terms of accuracy. So we do get a check for Dak Prescott in the accuracy department. Now onto my second category, and that is arm strength. And I think this is a very underrated element of Dak Prescott's game. I classify arm strength in two ways. You know, the ability to throw with velocity, whip a ball into a tight window or just a window and always have. And then also, on the other hand, have great touch control on deep balls. Guys with stronger arms are able to have more control on their deep balls. So that's very important to me as well. I think. Dak has both. Uh, His velocity is up there with the best in the league. And again, I said earlier, we watched that play where he just is able to throw these comeback routes with such great accuracy. But most of the quarterbacks in the league could not get the ball there on time on target because Dak throws lasers. He's able to get it there on time on target. You know, also his touch on deep balls is underrated. PFF ranked all of the deep passers in the NFL. And Dak Prescott ranked fourth on that list, only behind my top two quarterbacks in Russell Wilson and Deshaun Watson. And then Gardner Minshew is an exceptional deep ball thrower as well. So I really do think that Dak Prescott has great arm strength. And I think that is able to translate into great deep ball throwing. So this is definitely a check for me in the accuracy department again. So we have two checks here already for Dak Prescott. And then the third category is arm talent. And I think that this one is semi close for me classify arm talent uh the arm talent category is being able to throw at all angles being able to throw off balance be able to comfortably throw on the run i like Dak's ability to throw on the run it's not the best in the league but he is solid when he has to run and you know i think Dak is also able to adjust well make throws in strange situations i've seen him make some tremendous throws under at weird angles when most people could not make those throws but uh my again going back to the accuracy my only concern is when Dak is under pressure, he goes from a an elite quarterback to in in the accuracy department to a slightly below average in the accuracy department. So I think he is still decent, but sometimes panics and his accuracy becomes worse when he is under pressure. 
But, you know, this is not the strongest point of his game in terms of arm talent, but I think I still give Dak Prescott a check. Not as big of a check as arm strength or accuracy, but it still is a check, um, and I think it's because of his ability to throw on the run and throw off balance. Then, the final category is mobility, and I think this is the this is a, a key part of a quarterback's game, the ability to move out of the pocket, extend plays. We see the future of the league. They all have this ability, and Dak is no exception. He is a great athlete. And the first time that I watched him on film, I kind of underrated this part of his game. I didn't really see him as very mobile, but as I watched him more, I realized that he is a good athlete and he is pretty mobile. He's top half, in my opinion. Uh, we don't, but again, we don't really see him use that mobility too much because of the tremendous offensive line that the Dallas Cowboys have. And again, Dak is also pretty sturdy in the pocket. So I like the mobility and the ability to be mobile in the pocket as well as outside the pocket and downfield. So. Just like right here, we see Dak Prescott get pressured quickly and he's looking downfield as he moves out of the pocket, makes a good throw. So th these are the types of plays that I like to see with the mobility, how he's able to use it. So uh, yeah, definitely a check in the mobility department. But now will you look at that? Dak Prescott generally checks all of my boxes. And uh, you know, he's not the best in any category, but he's good all across the board. And I think that is a great way to describe Dak Prescott and that is well-rounded. Um, I think after we just went over that, we're in a position to help answer whether or not Dak is an elite quarterback and whether or not he can lead the Cowboys to a Super Bowl. But the first question to ask is, what is an elite quarterback? I just said he checks all my boxes, but does that make him an elite quarterback? But I define an elite quarterback who does not just run the offense, but elevates the offense. And I think... To me, Dak Prescott really does fit into this category. He is somebody that elevates the offense. Jimmy G is not elite. He is somebody that runs the offense. But because, you know, but to me, Dak, because he is so well-rounded in all aspects of his game, he doesn't bring anything super unique, but it brings so many elements into an offense that completely expand what the offense's ceiling is and what it is capable of because he's able, again, to do so many things. Um, as we were talking about, the ability to throw one of the best comeback routes in the league expands the offense. His ability to throw a great deep ball expands the offense. His ability to move outside the pocket and make those tough throws expands the offense. He's not the greatest. He's not mobile like Lamar. He's not, he doesn't have the arm strength, arm talent of Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, but he brings a piece of all of the categories to the table. And so that's difficult in itself to figure out. So I think I would classify him as elite. And so, yeah, that separates Dak Prescott from non-elite quarterbacks. Uh, he, again, he's not amazing in any category, but he's solid across the board without many holes in his game. I think that alone makes him elite. Now, let me clarify. I think that he is elite, but I don't think he's somebody that I would call a special quarterback. And I think there's only a couple guys in this league being Russell Wilson, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, and Aaron Rodgers. Those probably be my five guys that I consider special talents, special quarterbacks. Um, you know, I think that these guys are the guys that I would consider to be special quarterbacks because they bring something unique to the field that is such a threat on offense that is almost unstoppable, bring so much of a um, uniqueness to an offense that is very, very, very um, interesting and difficult to stop. Or, you know, they're just top of the line all across the board, like top three in every category, top four in every category, of course. So, you know, for Lamar Jackson would be his mobility, Mahomes, arm strength, arm talent. For Watson it would be his escapability, along with being pretty solid across the board. Wilson it would be like top of the line, top five in almost every single category of being a quarterback. And for Rodgers, make the, his ability to uniquely make incredibly difficult throws, throw on the run and throwing one of the best deep balls in the game. So I think those are the guys that I would consider special quarterbacks. But, um, you know, again, they, they're the ones that take the offense to a completely new level by bringing something unique, being top of the line in every category. I wouldn't call Dak Prescott special because I think he's good in every category, but does not bring a uniqueness to the offense. And he is not top five in every category. I'd say he's top half in every category, top 10 maybe. But, uh, you know, not top five like Wilson is, for example. Another difference that I see between elite quarterbacks, special quarterbacks, is um, elite quarterbacks are able to make good teams great. Can't really elevate those pieces around them too, too much. They're not going to be able to carry a bad team to being a good team or a great team. 
you know, for example, like like the Sean Watson, or uh, I think a perfect example is Russell Wilson. And without, you know, they don't have a good offensive line. They have decent weapons. They've got a bad defense, but they're always a good team. And even Super Bowl contenders because of Wilson. And without Wilson, I think the Seahawks would be more of a 7-9, 6-10 team. But I think that's the difference between special and elite. Because even without Dak Prescott, I think the Cowboys would still be such a good team because of the sheer amount of talent on that offense and a solid defense. I mean, do not get me wrong, though. Dak definitely elevates his team to being Super Bowl contenders. So, yes, um, he is an elite quarterback. And being an elite quarterback is still great in this league. There's only a few of them. So, but now we know that Dak is an elite quarterback. But does that mean that he's able to lead the Dallas Cowboys to a Super Bowl? And... You know, what did I just say? Elite quarterbacks make good teams, Super Bowl contenders, great teams. And I think that same theory applies to the Cowboys. We look at it and that team is one of the best all around rosters in the league. PFF ranked all of the rosters one to 32. And the Cowboys ranked sixth on that list behind Baltimore, San Francisco, Kansas City, New Orleans, and Tampa Bay, who those are my top five teams in terms of being Super Bowl contenders. And the, the, um, Cowboys are right behind them and they have Dak Prescott who I think is arguably actually I think he is a better quarterback than Tom Brady at this point in his career so I see no reason to believe that the Cowboys are not contenders this year um, and I think this is an appropriate time to address w- one of the main unfair criticisms of Dak Prescott that I see quite often and that's the fact that he doesn't perform against good teams and I think that is a, de- a hugely unfair criticism of Dak Prescott I don't really when I watched the film I didn't see too much too much of a drop in performance between him playing bad versus good teams in fact PFF put out a list of the top graded quarterbacks against playoff teams last season and Dak Prescott ranked fifth on that list behind Mahomes Watson and Wilson who are my top three quarterbacks you can check out my top 10 quarterbacks list here um and then Tannehill was actually PFF's top graded quarterback last season who had a tremendous season He's not on my list, though, because he had an outlier year, but it was still a tremendous year last year for Tannehill. But I think the narrative that Dak Prescott cannot play against playoff teams is completely overblown, and I don't think really is true at all. Um, The Cowboys, you know, we saw the Cowboys did play poorly against good teams last year, and that's taken out on Dak Prescott, which is semi-fair. But I think a lot of those losses were team losses. They were due to poor coaching and some defensive struggles. Um... And I think some of it was Dak Prescott. I'm not going to give him a full pass, but there was a lot of missed opportunities, not great calls. So, but this year we have McCarthy as the coach, won a Super Bowl with the Packers. And I think he brings a fresh new face, new start to this Cowboys, new energy that Jason Garrett just did not have last year for them. Um, Now, my only concern is that the team does not have the same time to prepare like they usually do. So a new coach, a new system could be problematic for the Cowboys. You know, someone like the Saints with Sean Payton and Breeze who have been together for years is has definitely have at least somewhat of an advantage over a new system with this like this, especially in this offseason. But uh, overall, we have a top-of-the-line roster with an elite quarterback. I think Dak Prescott can most definitely lead the Cowboys to a Super Bowl. And now that's the answer to the question. I think Dak Prescott can lead the Cowboys to a Super Bowl. And just to recap, Dak Prescott is a solid all-around quarterback. Not special, but he checks all of my court, my boxes. And so he is, in fact, an elite quarterback. And with the new coaching system and a very talented roster, the Cowboys are in position to win a Super Bowl. So that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sure Cowboys fans are happy with this. I know they got a lot of hate all the time, but I'm sure these are happy, good words to hear for you guys. Uh, You guys have a great elite quarterback, and I'm excited to watch your team this year. Um, Thanks so much for listening. Um, Like if you enjoyed. Dislike maybe if you didn't enjoy. Comment what you thought. And yeah, thanks so much. Peace.